In this video, we're gonna be updating our Amazon affiliate website to WooCommerce version three, and the latest version of WooZone, and maybe even the latest version of Kingdom. Now, during this video, I come across a few bugs, including the problem where you can't actually add variable items to your cart. So if you've already run your updates and you've got that problem, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix that. If you've not already done your updates, I'm gonna be taking you through it step by step. So let's take a look. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So yeah, it's update time again. There's been a new version of WooCommerce come out, which was quite a major release. So uh, to add some compatibility, there's a new version of WooZone 2, along with a new version of Kingdom as well, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking you through uh, updating all those things. And well, I've already recorded the video and I can tell you it didn't go as smoothly as I'd liked. If you've watched any of my other update videos, um, especially around WooZone and Kingdom, you'll know that sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. But, um, doesn't matter, I've done some edits, I've left pretty much all of it in so you can see what went wrong and how I fixed it, so that if you get the same problem, uh, you'll know what to do. So, that's enough of my face, let's get on the computer and get going. Okay, so I'm over at bootboutique.co.uk, which is the website that I created in my latest uh, Amazon affiliate tutorial. Uh, you'll find it on the channel, I'll put a card up if you haven't seen it, but I'm sure you have, that's why you're watching this video. So let's get on with the updates. So the first thing I'm gonna update is WooZone. So I need to go over to Code Canyon and download the latest version. Just go into my downloads. Find WooZone amongst all my files. There it is. I'm just gonna download all files and documentation. I've got a folder just here where I download it to. There we go, that's done. I'm then gonna have a look at that file in my uh, Finder, or on my computer as it were. If you're running a PC, <laughs> it won't be a Finder. Anyway, I'm just having a look at the zip file. I'm then gonna extract it. And then we've got a folder in there, which is the version number 9.0.3.5. Then within there, there's a couple more folders. One's called Plugin, and that's where we're gonna find the zip file that we need to upload to our website. So back to the website, and then I'm gonna to go to Dashboard. Then into Plugins. And scroll down. There's uh, WooZone, I'm gonna deactivate it. And then I'm gonna delete it. So that's gone. I'm now gonna to go to add new so I can upload the new version. Then let's go to upload plugin, choose file. Then back to the folder we were just in, which is just here, into the plugin folder, then woozone.zip, then install now. So that's all updated, let's click activate. And now we're all up to date. We can check everything's all okay, just go into your Amazon config. And yep, I've got my key in there, so all my config and everything is still intact. So that's WooZone done. Next thing I'm gonna do is Kingdom. Now, in a previous video, I installed uh, this plugin. Let me just show you what it is. It's called the Easy Theme and Plugin Upgrades uh, plugin. Uh, I recommend you install it. Just go up to uh, Add New and type in, where is it? Easy Theme and Plugin Upgrades and install that. And then that makes updating the theme a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna go over to uh, Theme Forest again. I'm gonna find the theme which again is in my downloads, just gonna sort it by theme forest. There it is, I'm gonna download all files and documentation. Let's put it in the same folder. Then I'm gonna have a look at the zip file and extract it. 
and then the latest version is 3.1.1. Then there, there's free folders, one called theme, and then we've got theme zipped, and that's the one that I'm gonna be using today. So back to the website, and then into appearance and themes. Then because I've got that easy uh, theme updater plugin installed, I can just go to add new, upload theme, choose file, back into that folder 3.1.1, into theme, into theme zipped, and then kingdom.zip and open. Let's click install now. That plugin basically makes a backup of your old theme and makes it easier. You don't have to use FTP or any of that sort of stuff. There are some specific videos on my channel all about updating Kingdom if you need more information on that. Okay, let's click activate. Now Kingdom's often the one that loses its settings. So let's go back to the site and have a look. It's looking okay, apart from my menu's gone a little bit wonky. Everything else looks in order. So let's see what's going on there. That's gonna be a bit of CSS. I'm sure I've got some custom CSS. So the font size has changed. Nope. Um, strange. Looks like it's that just this Timberland one that's gone, gone weird. Yeah, it's got its own padding, that's strange. It should be 10. So if you get this problem, you need to copy and paste this bit of code into your customized area. So I'll put this bit of code on wpeagle.com so you can just copy and paste it. I'm gonna just drop it into my customize here. Let me just close this. Scroll down to additional CSS. Scroll down to the bottom of all the stuff that's in there and then just paste. Let's say you'll find this bit of code on wpeagle.com. Be sure to check out. There's also some full, whoop. <laughs> Excuse me, there's also some forums over there as well, uh, which you should go and check out. It's a great place to find more information about, well, all this sort of stuff. Okay, so that's that fixed. So now we're ready to run the rest of our updates, uh, including WooCommerce. I'm just gonna click on my little update arrow up here to go into WordPress updates. And uh, we've got all these things to update. I'm just gonna select all of them, click update plugins. Now Visual Composer hasn't updated, um, so everything else seems okay. I'll come back to that in a second. Let's just return to the WordPress updates page. Got this message across the top here that we need to run uh, a WooCommerce data update, so let's do that. Let's click okay. And that's gonna do its thing in the background. So Visual Composer, let's uh, let's fix that, get that updated. I'm gonna go back to installed plugins. I'm gonna find uh, Visual Composer, I'm gonna deactivate it. And I'm gonna delete it. Then if I go back to installed plugins, Got this message across the top says this theme recommends following plugin, Visual Composer, click begin installing plugin, click install, what it's gonna do is install it from the theme files hopefully, which should have the latest version pretty much. Let's return back to the required plugins and click activate. And I think that's done now, so now if we go back into plugins and install plugins, yeah, we're all good. So let's have a look at the site, check everything's in order. Okay, so it all looks um, like it's working okay. Let's check out one of the products. Yep, looking good. Let's try the dropdowns. Ah. There's no, um, no add to cart coming up, which is not right. So there's obviously some sort of bug with Kingdom or with WooZone. Um, I'm just gonna go and get in touch with AA team and ask them about it, so um, yeah. Let's do an edit, fast forward time and see what they say. 
Okay, so I've had a message back. Uh, took a day or so. You know what they're like. But uh, they've said I need to update the latest version of Wuzan. Now I don't know if this version is available on uh, Code Canyon yet. It may not be. Um, so yeah, it, but it should be soon, hopefully. But I can provide a link to it. I'll uh, I'll add it to uh, WP Eagle um, on the post relating to the video you're watching. So yeah, go to wpeagle.com if you can't get hold of this version, which is 9.0.4. Now I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna do that right now. So let's see what happens and see if it fixes. Oh yeah, I just downloaded it, there we go. So let's see if it fixes the uh, the issue we've got here with these um, selector thingy drop downs not working. So I'm gonna update WooZone again, back into the dashboard. Plugins. And then WooZone. There it is. Oh, there's another version of <laughs> WooCommerce come out in the meantime. I'll do that in a second, I guess. Let's delete that Woo zone. And then add new. It's going to upload it from my computer. If I can find it, there it is. That's installed, let's activate. All right, fingers crossed then. Oh, it's called W zone now. Interesting. That's different. All right, let's see if those drop downs are working. Back in here. All right. Black for uh, still not working. Oh, well, that's annoying. Of course, I'll leave all this in the video because I love to share when things go wrong. I think it's helpful. Let me just quickly go back to AA team and um, and see what they say. Quick edit. Okay, so they say that it is working and it's a cache issue on my browser. So. Well, I hope it is. Let's go back and uh, take a look. So, yeah, it's not there. Let's do a, a hard refresh. So I'm going to do Command and R. I think that is a hard refresh. Uh, I still don't see it. No. None of these sizes are working, are they? Let's try the brown, maybe. Okay, let's try and clear the cache the long way. So uh, clear browsing data. Cached images and files. Probably didn't actually need to clear the whole cache, but hey, that'll do. So yeah, on your browser, you're gonna need to clear your cache. If you're not sure how to do that on the browser that you're running, then just Google it, I'm sure you'll find it. Let's go back and refresh. Oh, it's there. That's exciting. Perfect. So there we go. It was a cache thing. Um, I'll leave it in because I think it's useful for you guys to see, as I said, so that you know if you <laughs> update and um, it doesn't work, then uh, yeah, you need to clear your cache. I'll make that version of WooZone available on WPEagle.com. Check in the description for a direct link to the post. But I think that's it. I think we're up and running. I think we're all done. So um, I'm just going to double check actually because I've just added to the cart. Let's see if we can check out. Fingers crossed. Hold your breath. There it is. Good. So all done. So I hope you're all up to date and everything worked okay for you and you got it all sorted out in the end uh, and everything's good. If you like this video, then please click the like button below. That really does help me out. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please uh, just click on this uh, eagle and you'll be subscribed. And then you'll be first to know when I upload some new videos. And I've got some good ones in the pipeline. Well, hopefully they'll be good. So they'll be coming up soon. In the meantime, why don't you take a look at this video, somewhere around here, which has been specially selected from my channel just for you. But until next time, bye for now.